All right, YouTube. Today we are going to play some Death Shadow. We're playing. We're going to try a couple different things out this stream. Um, not much change from the main deck. <clears throat> main deck's pretty much the same thing that I've been playing. I just cut the the uh, steam vents for a watery grave. Um, I just want to try that because having two lands in the deck that don't fetch, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that don't fetch or don't produce black mana is just kind of awkward sometimes. And if you look over here to the sideboard, I've cut the Grim Lava Mancer. So needing double red isn't as common as it used to be. So we're just going to try out three Watery Graves and three Blood Crypt. And this is a mana base that I played before Grim Lava Mancer was incorporated into the deck and really liked it. So we're just going to give this a whirl tonight. If we go over to the sideboard, I've added the fourth Snapcaster Mage back to the sideboard because you remember like a big reason that was cut was because you wanted to bring in two Lava Mancer <clears throat> in against like humans. And not having the snapcast, and then having the snapcaster mage, like the delving and two lava mantis, can get a little awkward sometimes. But now the lava mantis is not there. I like snapcaster mage better than a grindy card than either the Liliatus. So I'm going to try that out. Um, besides that, I just added another brutality just to respect burn a little more. And I want to try boarding this in tonight against Mono Red Phoenix if we play it. And if it's good there, it might deserve. I think the Mono Red Phoenix deck is better than the Blue Red Phoenix deck. So. If we can get more cards in that matchup, that'll be good. But besides that, that's pretty much all we've changed. I'm gonna go grab myself a glass of water, and then we're gonna get ready to rock and roll. How's it going, Johnny? Thank you for the bits. You're more often fetch swap an island. That's why four. I do think that the four, the eight black fetch lands is optimal. Um, I don't think that. I think you're only going to lose like one percentage by playing three and three. So, like, if, for example, if you only have three blood St. Myers and you had three scalding tarns, that's okay. It's a very uh, like very small difference. All right, competitive modern league. So things go a little bit better tonight. I've been on I've been on a losing streak, just in 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 Magic recently. I've been getting worked. Moto paper, like it's all been just rough. So let's hope we can turn this around a little bit. Log in here. Forgot to log into my stream labs. It's not working. It's 1 a.m. Geez, that's rough. Yeah, you're okay. You don't like, again, you don't have to go out of your way to get that. You're going to be fine. This hand is not good. This hand is good. All right, we're going to hope we get to point that at something. All right, I am going to dismember a Steve on turn two. Mark my words. <clears throat> and it's actually like, it's actually correct for my opponent to play Steve here if they have a far seek. Because, like, you don't want to just jam far seek into this. I mean, they're going to do it. But. It's not great to do. If they have an option, it's clearly wrong to do that. But they might not have an option. Let's cycle this. Uh, find a way to do myself damage. Now find. Okay, so we're going to be able to get one shadow in play. That's pretty fortunate. 
Um, so at this point, we're not stunting our opponent's uh, mana development. So I'm just going to play a Shadow. Like, their big payoff turn is next turn. Or at six mana, and like... So we're just gonna we're just gonna get one of these in the play. It's rare for me to live footage, but mostly watch. Yeah, that's why I do YouTube. I play two mountains. Anger, Jesus, that is the best anger of all time. So let's get this into play. Let's get this. Take your explore. So, they can't quite turn on their Valakit yet, but they're going to be able to do it eventually, and that's going to be tough for us to beat. Because <clears throat> they still need... Okay, so what does Steve do? So we can't kill our opponents. Steve gets them a land that lets us, lets them, they're going to be able to play the fifth mountain next turn. So we just have to hold. And we're going to attack, but. Okay. So we five our opponent. Opponent goes to 14. So we actually have a weird line that could win us the game next turn because our opponent has a windswept team. So our opponent can't kill us. Even with a ramp spell. Right, because this isn't... Because this is only five. One, two, three, four, five. So what I can do here is I can dismember my shadow, fetch shock to one deal, or I can just dismember my shadow, then fetch and kill them. And then we can stub. So throughout this whole time, I want to have double blue up. Because this is only the fifth mountain. So let's go get Watery Grave. Down to five. Because this is this is the fifth, the sixth mountain deals damage to me. Yeah, because it's scape shift plus six lands. Okay, so let me make sure I'm targeting the right thing here. No, but they need they need um they need one more mountain, right? Like they they can't. This is only the fifth. This is only five here. You look like a Smurf. Well, you are a Smurf, Dalloway. <clears throat> and we've got Snap Stub up still. Oh, shoot. I didn't do that in their end step. I thought it was in their end step. That's not good. It didn't really matter. because I, I mean, it would have mattered if they played Steve. But, okay. So let's bring in Disdainful Stroke. Brutality is kind of medium, and Extraction is kind of medium. It's all about how many cards we want to get rid of. We want to get rid of these pushes for sure. And I can take or leave. I kind of like to dismember, because sometimes you just get to dismember Steve to supercharge you. Lightning Bolt's kind of the same thing. Yeah, Jace is very good. No Shattering Blow. We left ours at home, Ben. I could board in like a one-off collective brutality, probably. Just go like this. I could also cut Snapcast. I could like shave a Snapcaster Mage because they're going to be pretty deep in relics. I kind of like that. I wonder if Surgical is better than Brutality. Because they're going to be pretty deep in Relic, so Snapcaster is not going to be as good as it, as it like normally is. I think I like, well... 
Brutality is much worse on the draw because it's just slow. It's not like on the play where you can nab a Farsi or an Explorer. I think I'm not going to play this. I'm going to try these two. This is what we're going to do here. These might not be good, but I'm sure if we take a Primeval Titan, it'll be nice. But I think Brutality is just too slow on the draw. Are you talking about like a deck with magic with magic cards is our worst worst matchup, Brandon? Alright, this hand is not great, but I'll keep it. Um are we gonna be able to cast this anytime reasonably? Probably. We just have to kind of hope that our draw steps line up. It's just a god with nonsense. with his nonsense. He's just what's that mean? Like I'm back on my bullshit again or something? Oh, I didn't update my stream deck there. Let me get into there while we're on here. Liliana of the Veil is an absolute stone-cold killer in the mirror, though. Like, there's no card that bodies Death Shadow, like... Uh, like... Uh, uh, clear back and start over. Like Liliana of the Veil. Okay, so like, I have to take this relic or I'll never get a threat into play. The Kadama's Reach is spicy. That is some spicy stuff. I'm gonna just take this relic. Because, like, whenever I get Gurmag anywhere in the play, shuts off Snapcaster Mage. I just wanted to play him. That that's that's really all that it was about. Because I didn't push because they could theoretically go. If I had the Snapcaster at that point, because I knew they were dead on the next turn, and I didn't want them to have like some sort of sequence that allowed them to like play two lands and kill me if I pay like dismembering. Here's a question here. Do I dismember this to fill up my graveyard? Probably. This makes a shadow off the top live too. Like this is this is like likely a little loose, but like we're we're in such a hard time at the moment that we need to do something. Like, we can't just sit here. If we just sit here and do nothing, then we're going to lose. They have another land in their hand. I accidentally clicked it out. Alright, well. Summoner's packed. I guess I'll just take Primeval Titan and make them packed for a Titan. I hope we play against Pod. That was so bad. Like I just got destroyed by that Mana Fair deck. We're going to get destroyed this game. Brady, you're just gonna start yelling no good matchups just throughout the entire stream. Alright. So that does a trigger. Ouch. I mean, yeah, we're just like. Super dead. They just cast Primeval Titan. I mean, we gotta like sit here and disdainful strokes of Primeval Titan, but like 
we're at the point of the game where Valakit is like, we can't be lands or spells. <clears throat> but now we're back on the play. And because they have Kadama's Reach, I'm kind of more into Collective Brutality. I don't really want that many removal spells. I think Snapcaster Mage is pretty poor. Especially if they're going to be like hating on me with that uh, with them relics. Battle Rage is medium. I want more brutalities now that I've seen Summoner's Pack too. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. I kind of feel like a coward boarding in two and two of these and not going, like, deciding which one's better. I could just cut another Snapcaster and bring in, like, one of these. Brutality seems so medium, though. Because, like, am I actually going to, like, Brutality on turn two and be proud of myself? Probably not. Whatever, we're doing this. I don't even want to bring this card in. I just kind of want to bring this in. Every matchup besides burn, yeah. All right, we're going to do this. So far, the brutality, uh, the brutality plan has not, has not been great. All right, I would like to play first. Ooh, my gosh, if the bottom two cards, if I could have like stacked two fetch lands on top, holy shit, my opponent would be dead. God, are we gonna lose to another combo deck? Is this real? Like we got destroyed by, uh, by whatever it is, ad nauseum yesterday, our last league in our first match. I'm kind of excited to see if the um I'm gonna stub a relic so hard. God damn it. I'm kind of excited to see if the uh collective brutalities are good against uh whatever it is. Um Mono Red Phoenix. Because I think Mono Red Phoenix is the best is the better Phoenix deck. Alright. Really? Really? I'm just going to take a search. Eventually be able to stub that. Uh, that Pulse of Marasa. We're just going to not draw a threat and die. Come on, baby. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, deck. God, you're going to do this to me. My deck is going to do this to me. So we have four mana. We know four out of the five cards. We'll know four out of six after this. Don't do this to me, deck. God. Who was talking about the tireless tracker? <clears throat> it's a robe. God, I'm going to get brown so bad. All right. Oh, my God. This is frustrating. So they have scapeshift. All right. We still can draw that shadow. Dude, it's a robe. You gotta keep, gotta keep warm, dude. Gotta keep comfy. 
This is so depressing. Is it better to go to five though? But is a hand with like a cantrip, a stub, and three lands, is that like, is that that bad? Yeah. I think this attack is loose. I, just, I want the record to know that I dislike this attack. This means we can concede on our next turn. Ugh. No, it's done. It's too many. I don't have that many. I've been on a losing streak the last, I don't know. Like I've burned so many tickets on Moto in the last, like, couple weeks. It has been bad. That's frustrating, though. So I don't think we're supposed to mulligan this hand. It, I mean, it kind of sucks. Like, I can dig for whatever I want. Like, I'm going to be able to look at one, two, three, four. This looks at three, four, five, six cards for a black land. I'm going to keep this hand, but... Like, if I didn't have a Serum Visions and a Street Wraith, I would mulligan this. And then I also have a Dismember in case I need to be able to turn on my Death Shadow. Dude, they're all bad matchups. Right? No, I don't even know the stub. Now, what is this? We're playing against Burn. Okay. Suspend Rift Bolt. This hand's not bad. If we're ever going to have a hand where we're proud to have Basic Island as an opener, it's against Burn. God, we hit two threats, too. Man. All right, let's take a look. Uh, we don't want either of these. We have to take like an idol on here because we really don't want to have to dismember anything. If we can't be burned with three brutalities, then I'm going to be so sad. I think we're just going to take this Swiss Spear, because this Swiss Spear is going to end up doing a million damage to us. <clears throat> this league's already, like, cursed. Because we lost... Lost Titan Shift. I've lost. I've opened up each one of my two leagues with like last two leagues with just combo decks that like you just slaughter, but it just didn't turn out like that. Oh, they ripped a Goblin Guard. Show me a shadow. It's not a shadow. Is it one hundred percent egregious to Thought Scour in my upkeep? I really don't want to draw this thing, the Serum Visions. Yeah, it probably is. All right. I'm just going to hold that and push. My opponent's hand's so clunky that we're going to be able to hit at least a removal spell here. No. Yeah, it is. This Death Shadow has no good matchups. So we're going to 10 here, going to 7. I'm going to cycle before the Goblin Guide trigger. Because we could hit a land here, and we're, we're going to push this anyways. Let it resolve. 
All right, so we're drawing a fatal push. That is not good. I might thought scour this fatal push now. Because it's just a dead draw. Yeah, I'm just going to thought scour my upkeep. It was a, uh, it was three great interactive games of Magic, Harrison. You turned one me. I had Graph Digger's Cage in both the end games. All right, I am gonna upkeep Thought Scour myself. Like I really don't want to draw this. All right, that lands better than. All right. So we're going to take a Boros Charm. That's not a bad way to do it. All right, you got it. All right, so now we take Lightning Bolt. Because it's the most efficient one. Full one, it's like gross. So that just kills me. Because like I have to fetch. <clears throat> and then I have to go discard spell, and then I can just Searing Blaze. So I take five. This is four. I guess I can untap and draw a Death Shadow. Yeah, I think I just have to untap, draw Death Shadow. If we don't, we scoop it up. Yeah. Just what a beating. What a beating. All right, we want this. One of these. All right, let's submit. <laughs> Dude, everything on Moto has been my worst matchup recently. I'm getting I'm getting worked recently online like it has not been good Yeah, I just brought in, like, I just wanted to try something. I, I really dislike both Liliana's. Like, I like Liliana the Veil. If you're just like, all right, whatever, screw this card. I want a card for the mirror. Then, like, that's fine. You know? But, like, outside of the mirror, I don't think it's very good. I don't think Liliana Last Hope's even very good anyways. I think it's, like, marginal. I think it's, like, decent in the mirror. But it's much worse than Liliana the Veil in the mirror. And... I just haven't been happy with it now there aren't a lot of small creatures to pick off. So I just like cut everything that was expensive and, and trying this out now. Jesus Christ. All right. We're going to be able to play Magic. I think I'm going to start on a... I'm going to Serum Visions. Could have left that on top and passed and hoped to get Goblin Guided. Both these cards are very good. I think I want both of them. I 
I'm going to wait on the brutality, I think, uh, or on the bobble. I'm going to bobble in the upkeep because then they'll they'll see the thought. Sees they won't see the stub. Like, the second stub is what's going to get them. Yes, there are threats this time. Because, like, they can usually play around the first stub. The second stub is what kills them. So let's just stack it like that. I hope I stacked it right. So they're drawing Swiss Spear. At Axon on the weekend, I played four J's, four Leon of Elf, four Bly, four Shade Pile. Yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a tough deck to beat. Okay, so we can get a shadow into play this turn. We just have to determine if it's worth it. And if we determine it's worth it, because we go to 14, fetch shock, 11, play 2-2. Two, two. Alternatively, we can play a tap land. And next turn we can play two 3-3 three, three shadows, which doesn't sound that great unless we have the option to Stubborn Denial or something. Our opponent's playing a Monastery Swiss Spear this turn as well. So they go Swiss Spear Bolt. Then that is 7 damage to us. I don't know if I'm supposed to just go like. So if I have to stub something. God, this is. So if I go fetch a swamp, I go to 13. Give myself the option to stub something after this slip spear comes down. Then I get cracked to 9. Play two shadows and I'm tapped out. I can play a shadow and have a stub up. Which doesn't sound bad. I think it's fetch basic. Thought sees hold stub. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm supposed to go like fetch a swamp and stub. And uh, fetch a swamp in thought sees. And I think I'm supposed to. We can also just take Swift Spear because the less blockers they have, the better for us it's going to be. Okay, they have a Lava Mancer. Interesting. It's a lot of creatures. I think I'm going to take the Swift Spear. Though the Lava Man just stays in play and can kind of sit back and just just murk me, but they don't have any way to grow it or to use it. If I take Swift, if I take Lava Man, so they go Swift Spear Lava Spike, almost a hundred percent, which puts me to nine, lets me play a Shadow, block and deal with the Skewer the Critics. Now leaving taking the Lava Mancer just has to be loose. So I think, though I want to incentivize my opponent to play into Stubborn Denial. Because if I take this, stub this, I'm going to take the Skewer the Critics. No, because I want to be able to stub that. I could just take the Swift Spear and then hopefully my stubs do something anyways. You want two blue sources? I want the option to be able to stub though. I'm going to take the Swift Spear. That's interesting. Because I would like to get my Stubborn Denial to trade for something this turn. Maybe. But even if I go one shadow next turn, stub something, another shadow stub something, and just play, play slow. So that's what they drew. What they can do here is just attack. 
and skewer the critics, which is probably their best play, in my opinion. That does turn on the Lava Man, though. I think I want to give myself the option, Brandon. All right, we're drawing a push, which is nice. Because push is going to deal with Lava Mancer. Because once this does its thing, it's okay. it's, it doesn't matter. Because like, if you if you, you're suggesting, I guess you're not, you're suggesting like your play automatically locks you in. All right, we're gonna get to so. But now I don't want to count this. So are you right? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Okay. Because I don't want to count as well this. So we play one shadow, pass the turn. Yeah, I messed up. Well, is there a world where... I think it's so hard to not give yourself the option to stubborn denial when you're looking in to a hand of six cards and you know one of them is a Swiss beer, right? Is it wrong to just not not give yourself that option? So I actually can't do this because they have landfall. I can't... Um, push this on the end step because they'll just go searing blades so I have to untap Another, a basic island or a fetch land that gets me an island would be a decent draw. Because then I can push this, play a shadow, and have another stub. Dude, if this is Searing Blaze, that's dangerous. Maybe I'm supposed to stub that. But I I think I didn't think long enough about stubbing that to be one hundred percent honest. I think you're gonna you could easily look dumb by not having an option to stub something on that turn, also. When I because like if you very easily could have taken like seven points of damage, more than that. You could have taken, like, you could have taken seven points of damage there. I get, no, yeah, I was stupid, because if I stub that, they can't cast this, so I time walk them. But I still take two damage from this. They have one card. I'm still okay, because, like, next turn I'm attacking. Ooh, baby. That was a good one. Now it just kind of bails me all out.
I, I'm not, I'm, I find that very difficult for you to be able to say that, Brandon, when there's a goblin guide on the board and you have, your opponent has six cards in the hand, you know one of them is a, yeah, it was a very sick draw. I find that very difficult for you to be able to say that with any sort of, like, um, <clears throat> with any sort of, uh, whatever it is, um, 100%, you know, as confidently as you say it. Okay, so... I could just hit this. I think I'm just going to brutality this three mode, or I don't, I don't really want to three mode it. I think I'm just going to two mode it and wait. Ditch both of these. But if I go gain and drain, no, I'm going to go attack, and then I'm going to go nug this, nug this, or I should I should nug this. But then I'm going to be able to deal with this next turn. It's kind of a good question, actually. The problem is that if I push and hold up stub, if they have two one-mana burn spells, I'm dead. So what I think I'm doing is I would like to attack with this. And then I'm going to uh, let them... I'm going to go to seven. I'm going to let them get in one more shot with this goblin guide. And then I'm going to play Shadow and have Stubber push up. So let's start by attacking. I'm going to hit this and this. I want to get my damage in here. Because I can stop this next turn. I can't stop this um, without definitely using my mana. Like, like putting a threat into play is just as good as killing this. It's interesting. So... I think I ditch my... I think I ditch... What happens? But again, if they have two one mana burn spells and I hold this, I go stub. Yeah, so I have to go... Escalate with two modes. No, I'm so, I'm messing up so much here. I'm, I'm I'm screwing up so bad. I'm just like losing my mind here. I thought I only had to discard two one card to get all three modes. Oh my gosh. I'm all over the place. So I just ditch everything but Death Shadow. I'm not, I just didn't even think about that. I'm ditching the Fatal Push. This was Lucy Goosey from the home team. Cause like I just zoned like I don't know what's what well, I don't know what happened right there in my head, but it just like exploded. Like I just did that collective brutality play, thinking I could three mode it without um without disc with only discarding one card. Which was just like super, super loose. We set that turn up very poorly. Yeah, I agree. But, like, Brandon, are you seizing the Swift Spear? We're at 18. If they have two one-mana burn spells, we take eight that turn. We go to 10, fetch to nine. We're at nine. They've got three cards in their hand. Let's just say that they do have it like that. Oh, so they drew a land. Oh, no, they didn't draw a land. I think it's, I think it's really difficult
to make that that setup there. All right. I mean, well, our plays are like made now. Like my opponent has to go Boros Charm. Has like going to seven is huge. I'm not sure. Like I'm not sure I played this that well. I mean, I know I didn't play that last time that well because I was just like out of my brain. You're not attacking, you're not blocking, which is interesting. And now you need Boros Charm into Bolt to kill me. Yeah, now you're just dead, I think. I've been wrong. I've been wrong a lot this league. Are you gonna like double bolt my shadow? No. Yeah, so I played that last turn very loosely. The brutality turn. We're just gonna submit. Keep it as is. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna look over that first discard spell here after the match. Yeah, so if you're not attacking, you're not blocking. What are you doing? But we're gonna we're definitely gonna look over that that first hand again. All right, well, we're gonna ship this one. Uh, I'm gonna go look I'm gonna look at your last uh, what you said Brandon it's like we need, we need a shadow that's the second best option cause like if we have battle rage and a shadow we at least can win the game all right. Snapcaster Mage. I don't think we want this Snapcaster Mage. We have four stubs in the deck, so is it worth just fetching a basic island here? Probably not. I'm just going to give you a tap land. I should have gotten a red tap in there. Again, man, I'm all over the freaking place tonight. All right, so here comes an Eidolon. Or they have a three-mana burn spell. A two-mana burn spell. Or they want a double spell. Rift Bowl, double Rift Bowl, okay. So we're at a virtual six. That bolt's not a bad draw. So what are we ditching? We can ditch Rage Land. We're gonna go to 20, then down to 14. They're gonna have two cards in their hand. I think because they have two lands, there's a chance that this Thoughtseize still does something this game. So I'm gonna get rid of Rage and uh, land. Oh, that's just, that's stupid. I might as well just get rid of rage, bolt, leave myself thought season a red source. 
unless I shock here. If I shock here, go to 14. I go to 15, up to 17, down to 11. Then I've got red mana. Yeah, I'm going to shock. Get rid of these two. Okay, so I, I want to take lightning bolts. Because I don't want them to draw a land and then empty their hand out and not be able to do anything with this Thoughtseize. Because I want this Thoughtseize to trade for a card. Like this thought sees is basically just going to gain me a life. Okay, so they drew an Eidolon. So now we draw Swamp. So we can bolt Eidolon, go to, go to 7, and leave them with Lightning Helix, which is probably the best we can do with the current situation. So let's play this, bolt this. And again, I'd be at 2 more life if I would have fetched a red tap land on in the beginning of the game. So I'd be at nine. So we should look into that. And again, I'm just gonna take the skull crack in place so we hit another brutality that we can just at least gain life. Well I wouldn't have had to shock if I'd had my head out of my ass. Like I said like I said, I have not played this match very well. I should be at nine because I should have tapped. I should have gotten Blood Crypt with my first land, and then gone and gotten a. Uh, I should have gotten Blood Crypt with my first land, and then fetched a basic with my fetch land. So I had something like Island Blood Crypt here. That's not bad because now if my opponent did draw a spell, then we get it at least pain free. I mean, I have not played very well tonight already. Like. Frustrating. All right, we're down to four. Do we hit a spell? No, we hit a land. Tilt. Why don't you draw some more of those, opponent? Or give me a shadow off the top. Both would be gas. I think they drew a land. Because they left Searing Blades in their deck. And we saw Searing Blades in game two. We drew a land here, which isn't good. That's not good. Brutality? And now we're just dead because we're locked. Uh, yep. All right, let's go back to that initial thought. I'm not sure. So what, what, what would have mattered in this game was I could have fetched a tapped um, Blood Crypt to start off my first fetch land, which would have had me at six, which would have given me another draw step, and I wouldn't have hit. 
what I needed, but I could have shuffled that away. Let's just say a shuffle braid. Yeah. All right. Let me go back to this. Ah, oh, man, it's been a rough. It's been rough. I'm going to pull this game back up here. No, we don't want the third game. We want the second game. Give me one second there, Twitch chat. All right. What does this do? This takes us to another turn. Okay. So now this takes it to my next turn. We go here. Okay. So your line here is with six cards in hand, you're thought seizing down to 14 and not leaving yourself the option. You're, you're basically thought seizing yourself down to 13 because you have a you have a fetch land here, and you're not leaving yourself the option to stub. We know they have a monastery swift spear. So if we take Swift Spear, and then they have something like one drop burn spell, one drop burn spell. And I, I think that it's I think we're supposed to get Swamp. Because it's not like if our opponent, if we thought sees Swift Spear, okay. It's not like next turn. Let's just say that they have like two one drop burn spells. Let's let's play like we don't know. It's not like we're going double shadow next turn. We're playing one death shadow and having stubborn denial up. Okay. And giving us so if we go to 13 and then we just take eight, we're at five. As opposed to being able to be at like eight, which I'm much more comfortable being at eight here. I think giving myself the option, and it's not like I'm going to have two blue mana available because I'm going to go, I'm playing only one shadow at a time. I'm never going to have, unless I draw another land, I'm never going to have the opportunity to go double Stubborn Denial because I'm playing a single shadow. Yeah, I don't think we can go, I don't think we can fetch a tap land this turn and not give ourselves the option to at least. Because it ended up working out where they didn't have that kind of a hand. But if our opponent has, you know, Swift Spear, or has double one drop, double one drop, we go to eight, and then they're just going to be, they might be, they'll have, what, three cards. We play Shadow off Swamp, have Stubborn Denial at five, potentially, against four cards in hand. Yeah, I think we need to give ourselves the option. Yeah, I think, I think, I think you're wrong, Brandon. I'm, I almost, I'm almost like super passionate you're wrong. Let me take a picture of this. Okay, let me go like this. And let me go back. Oh, I'm sorry, Twitch chat. We'll, we'll get back to our game in a second. Um, and I'll take a picture of this. And then after the stream, I'll post this. Because I, I don't, I don't want to... Because if I, if I post it while the stream's going on, I'll be distracted. So hang on. Okay. Let's get back to the league. Now, uh, how do we get out of this? Return to game. Play league match. I don't think I'm asking to die with one of those spells in the hand. One of those stubs in the hand. Like, I'm giving myself the option to play a stub, like, to giving myself the option to get my cards to trade by keeping mana open. Like, 
if I can go like stub something, shadow, hold stub, next turn play shadow, and then do whatever, I think that's my best line to win. Yeah, I mean, Burn's a very good deck right now. I don't know if Burn's like... There's the problem with Burn being Tier 1, whether it can be Tier 1 because of its nature. I do think that the uh, that the Spectacle cards are very good. Because what are you doing, Brandon? Like, like what are you doing? If you get two blue sources, how are your turns sequencing? You're not going double shadow. You're going shadow plus stub, right? So then you have time to use your stubborn denial there. Then you're playing another shadow with a mana left over. So, like, you're going to be able to use them no matter what. And die with a stubborn hand. But, like, if your opponent, like, I think you're pacing shadows no matter what, right? Like, you're casting shadow, one mana left over. And then what are you doing? Are you untapping, holding a shadow in your hand, and having two stubborn denials against... Like, I, I don't know what their hand would look like at that point. Like, it's like, what, six cards? I don't, I don't know what your life total is. Right? Like, I, I think it's... It's tough to recreate and debate also. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep the sand. And we're going to hope. I likely... I kind of want to cycle my Street Wraith before I fetch. But I know that's, like, operationally loose, so I'm not going to do it. Like, I think I think how the game's going to pace out, you're never going to have two blue mana open at the same time. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to stub this. Cycle... All right. Um, I'm gonna pop this on their turn. They, they, they. I don't know. They could be some weird green-white creature deck that plays like whatever it is. The dumb um, Tide Hollow Scholar card. I was gonna say I kind of want to just kill one of these. Because I think I'm gonna be like tapping out for most of the game. But that also like I might I probably have to tag a knight of the reliquary. If they played one, I think it's debatable. Tilt. Alright, well let's I kinda wanna cast Inquisition because I don't want to get destroyed by a will leaf liege. But that, that seems kind of loose. This comes to guarantee playing two shadows next turn. All right, I think I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take Flicker Wisp. Blade Splicer is annoying, but I'm going to be able to deal with it on the ground. Flicker Wisp, I'm not going to be able to answer. And, like, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to turn this push on. And I know that I can push the Blade Splicer. Like, next turn I can go Inquisition thing, play Shadow. I should take this thing in the... It clocks me in the air. The Flicker Wisp is just the most annoying card because it, it eventually lets you be able to like blink something that they might get some value out of. All right, so there's Finks. They still have a ticket in play in their hand. No, this is this is gone. They played this. I don't know what they drew. All right, let's take a card. Another pass. If I take pass, pass, I go to seven, take five, go to two, play two shadows. And 
and then they check the blade splicers. You're saying that by fetching main phase, I'm making my chances way lower to find a land. I'm going to take a path, and then I'm going to Thought Seize a path, take a shot. We could be in trouble this game, and then play two Shadows. Okay, they drew Ether Vial, which is gas. All right, that's nice too. I don't, I, I still don't agree with that assessment, Brandon. We're dead to like a lot here, but such is life. We have Battle Rage. Draw a path. Oh, I drew a flicker wisp. All right. All right. We're dead. <sighs> and we board it. We like cut our anti creature package, which is kind of a tilt in this kind of a matchup. So let's get this in. Let's get this in here. We want Jason Snapcaster Mage. Cards I'm not really interested in. We can get rid of this looting. We can get rid of probably like at least two stubborn denials. We probably can cut some inquisitions. I think I think I have to go over this game with you because I just disagree with this, Brandon. But I think I have to go. I think it, like we have to talk the game over here. I can like star that one or something like that. Like I'm gonna put it on YouTube. And we can see that. But like, I think you're just like asking for yourself. Like like you're 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 saying that I'm gonna die with spells in hand. I think you're asking to die with spells in hand also. But I'll post it on but I'll post it on Twitter after after the stream. Here, we'll be able to see it. I can get like one angler. Let's play a little bit of a longer game. But maybe that's also loose. Maybe our whole game works better with them in play. If they're playing this creature deck, I'd probably rather cut a street race. would like to play first all right we're gonna keep this one we're gonna hope we get to point this at a noble hierarch on our first turn damn it you couldn't help us out opponent So I have shot, hopefully dismember something here. And that puts me to 14. Puts me to 15 into 11. Yeah. I should have played the red land. Just so I have it in play. God damn it, opponent. Alright, 
So I can play Gurmag, which is probably okay. I mean, I lose my bolt, but this Snapcaster Mage is going to be able to do something eventually. If they counter this, they counter this. Or they, they kill it, I mean, excuse me. All right, what do we got? We got like a, just giving me the business there with the old pump fake. Yes, but they, they do it. You know what I mean? Like, and I think, and I think that plan, Brandon, the throwing two burn spells, sorcery speed. I think there's a chance that plan is better moving forward now because their entire deck is more one mana spells. It's leaner. Now, my opponent's deck wasn't lean. All right, so I'm just attacking, and I'm gonna dismember this if I get the chance, and then I'm gonna play two shadows. I don't want to still dismember it. I would like to, like, I kind of just want to overpower my opponent. Because I could just take six. Yeah, like, to hell with it. We're just going, we're going, like. Yeah, I'm just getting my, getting my dudes into play here. Like, they, they can do some, like, they might be able to open up some Restoration Angel stuff here, but, like. We're going to be able to go snap again. Like, I just want the two big boys in play. I don't think I need to start by scouring, right? I mean, isn't my turn, like, pretty set in stone? That's the interesting part about this deck, though. Like, like, I think that I think that no matter what, like, if like Brandon's line of play, I think what's interesting about this deck and what makes this deck fun and what makes this deck rewarding and good is that each one of those plays that Brandon and I made, we each have like super good thoughts behind them and um and like if brandon's line is right i think that my i think my line is defensible and i think that if my line's right i think brandon's line is defensible which is just interesting in my opinion okay so we're gonna get ghost quartered out of our lands here And honestly, I need to play more against Burn because maybe now that their deck's not like clunky pile of garbage, that they're because I I thought that Shadow I thought Shadow was favored against Burn pre um pre whatever they are cards um I can't think I thought Shadow was ahead of Burn before um the Spectacle cards came. Like, just because their hand was so clunky and so destroyed by a thought seize that I thought they were just ahead. And there's a chance that, like, that has changed to where now they can go, like, spell, 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 spell. Their hand is, like, not as open to getting thought seized. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to Thought Scour. We, we, we tap out here. We give our opponent some information. Okay. So that can initiate. Wow, that's a nice draw. So do I start off? I think I start off with the Thought Seize, and I think that they're going to hit this. So I'm just going to tap this.
I definitely messed up not not countering that first whatever it is, that searing blaze. I fucked up. I should let them I should have countered that searing blaze, and my opponent should have just activated Lava Mancer. I made a mistake there. You'd have played towards getting a third button. All right, so do we have a flicker duder coming in? All right, we got a blade boy. That's okay. And a resto. Okay. So what is this resto target? Blade splicer. So, so if I go dismember this, take this out, then all of a sudden, so if I to go dismember this, I'm dead to the resto in the air, because this puts me to seven. And the dismember, um, and then the dismember makes me gosh, it's such an interesting. Like, I'm, I'm like now I'm like thinking about that more. So I go, I go to seven, dismember to three, I'm dead to the rest down in the air. So I have to let this happen. I basically have to snap discard snap dismember this rest out and then I have to somehow get through combat the rest of this. That ether vial, that's gotta go. So can I afford to attack? And if I attack, what do I attack with? So if I come in here with both of my death shadows, they have to block one of them. So let's just say that the kitchen finks goes here, they take nine. I then go block block. Dismember, take one. So I actually can attack with both of my sh both of my death shadows here, because they have to. If they don't block, they're dead. If then on the crackback, assuming they don't draw anything, which I'm not really sure we're beating anything at the moment, anyways. And if they ghost quarter me, then I get to really get them. So we're attacking with both shadows. Then I block first strike. Block first strike. Take one, dismember this, and go to two. So we're attacking. So now, do I do it now to make it so they're in the double abyss next turn? I think I do it now. Right? Yeah, I just do it now to make sure that then both shadows are lethal. They have this, this, and I have to, I have to fade like a path. Yeah, I'm going to do it now. Now my opponent gets cute with their lands, they're going to end up losing some creatures. Mm. 
No, humans is Death Shadows workshop matchup. The old blue white decks were Death Shadows, like probably worst matchup. But then they moved away from Supreme Verdict and Spreading Seas. They started playing like Terminus. They started playing Stubble cards. Shadow's best matchup is the Mirror. So now here's the big hot topic question is how do I not get blown out? I don't think, because like if they hit anything here, they would just kill me. Like... If, like, with these two blockers here, I'm tapped out. If they had Restoration Angel, they would just... Now, Restoration Angel doesn't do it. What happens if I just push a token and attack? They still don't die. So, I just attack with two Shadows. And then I hold these back, play my fetch land, and I even beat, like, a Resto. Yeah. Because if I, if I come in here with this, they go block, 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 play Resto, blink this, and we die. So yeah, we just attack with both of our shadows. They block both of them. I should have played my freaking fetch land because now they can do it inside of combat. I just punted. Damn it. I deserve to lose for that. Yeah, I, I deserve to lose here. And I'm going to. Because you know they've got they've got a way to bounce this right here. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Do I want... If I don't want Collective Brutality on the play, I sure as hell don't want it on the draw. I wonder if I want to, like, lower my curve a little bit, being on the draw, and bringing in some of these. Because, like, being able to tag a Blade Splicer is nice. Maybe I just don't want any of these stubborn denials. Yes, dude, screw these stubs. We're going to bring in discard spells on the draw. Uh, because Snap Dismember put me down to where both shadows were lethal. Well, like, so I have to deal with the resto anyways, Brandon. If I attack with both with both of my... Like, I wouldn't have dismembered if they would have blocked both of them. But because they blocked one of them, the combat trick makes them double abyss from both death shadows. The turn after. I lose to, like, a path. But I, am I, I'm not really sure I'm beating a path anyways. Keep this. It's a little... I mean, we can dismember something here, but... Do you have the freaking Ether Vial? All three games? I guess I get to stub one of them, so, like, I shouldn't whine that much about it. All right, our hand's pretty solid here. I do like discard spells against the Ether Vile deck. Bless Alliance. Um, I think we just take that. We can we can play around this Flicker Wisp. The Stirring Wild was gonna be annoying. There's the Wild Boy. All right, so that's nice. We're gonna be able to play our Kolagons Command. Uh, can we go fishing? One, two, three, four. We can't. We. I'm gonna play the scalding tarn. No shit. I, I was like, I literally was like, I'm gonna play the scalding tarn because we milled our swamp when I should have done the opposite, in case we needed to find a basic because the only basic left is basic island. Forty-seven viewers. I hope everyone's having a good night. I appreciate y'all for showing up and hanging out.
I've had a good stream. Really good stream tonight. I kind of want to... Am I playing a Death Shadow? I know two out of their four cards. I'm probably not playing a Death Shadow. And I'm just playing a Gurmag Angler. And I think because of that... I'm really a little hesitant about like hemorrhaging my life total here against the like Restoration Angel deck. So I think I'm just going to go like this. Play this land so that I can get a bolt if I want, and then we're just going to play Gurdad. Gurdangle. Gurdiddly do. And like, if they. Uh, I could have also commanded the Ether Vial and made them discard, but they just get they just ditch a land. So it's not that great. I think that my hand is so good that like I'm pretty all set with what's going on. Jeez. So they have Flicker Wisp X. I guess I just start by, I'm attacking no matter what. Am I shocking? I don't want to do two things. I can do two things anyways. I would like to probably return something with this. But that might not happen. All right, let this happen. Target player. I really don't want to get hammered here by like yeah I shouldn't have shocked there I'm going to push this and then I'm going to bolt this right now and then my Gurmag Angler is going to come back and can check this stirring Wildwood I don't think there's any point to shattering this Ether Vial. Like, they only have two cards in hand. Like, they have four mana. I think that this Ether Vial is, is not going to do that much. Especially if we're careful. Yeah, they have the second one. So, like, I think I'm pretty on, like, they can just have the Ether Vial. Whoa. So now we're going to play... Um, we're going to just play our Shadow. Because even if our opponent... Um, deals with it, Kologon's command... Like, they, they would deal with it via, like, Blessed Alliance or something like that. Kologon's command can eventually bring it back. Push Wisp. I guess I wanted to push... Yeah... No, oh, yeah, you're you're right. You're right. I should have done that. You're right. Yeah, because it's so clunky. I'm gonna fire this off. Man, we just have like an embarrassment of riches. Yeah, because now I have this clunky two mana, like three mana card in my hand when I could play Jace and have 
like bolt or push plus dismember. Is my opponent just dead? No. I almost just want to like do nothing. Like with Snapcaster Mage, like I, I just kind of want to sit here. I mean, my hand's stacked. I think it's correct to go snap both them at EOT because then that makes Kologon's command lethal. Like they're just dead on burn. Like we don't even have to interact in the uh, red zone. Like we, we have three lethal creatures and we're lethal on the stack. Okay. Yeah, they they were at two cards and they like didn't play spells when we knew they didn't have any spells. So I assume they had nothing but like lands in their hand. Cause like I thought season their hand was really poor. It was like like they played I think they played Ether Vial on one, and then they had Blessed Alliance, um, Flicker Wisp, and three lands. And I, so I didn't really want to discard spell them because they weren't casting anything, so I just thought they had lands. Her phone's dead as shit. You beat your worst matchup. Did I just play against this guy? No, I just recognized the name. All right, um, it's like a race car hand, but it's not even really set up to race because we can't get our shadow into play until turn four. Does the presence of Blade Splicer like do anything, do anything for you, Brandon, when it comes to that? I'm going to mulligan. It doesn't do anything. Hand kind of does stuff. Um, put this on the bottom because we don't have a Death Shadow. We're going to be able to deal ourselves enough damage. Oh. Oh, baby. We are playing our worst matchup. I think I'm just going to dismember this. Both of our discard spells are going to hit something. Like, we're probably going to get Archive Trap for 72 here. But, like, such is life. What is it? Is this so they don't get choked? Wow, there's no trap either. Oh, baby. I'm going to cast this one. What would I want to hit with this one that this can't hit? Archive Trap. They drew it for turn. Okay. They play it to bounce their hand. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so we got to take... Push bridge, and then we play our boy. And I'm just going to get Blood Crypt here.
Oh, yeah. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to, like, the Game Podcast, um, Tech Edge Podcast. I listen to, like, Limited Resources, the DWC, the Tapped Out. Po I listen to so many podcasts, like, you wouldn't even believe it. I wonder what this is. The nut draw off the top would be either another Death Shadow or a Stubborn Denial. We can lose, so like, this is a very good matchup for us when it comes to bad matchups, but like, we could lose this game because we can get punked by an ensnaring bridge. Just not having an answer to bridge in game one is pretty devastating, and we only have one lightning bolt, so we can't really burn them out. Like, we can only deal six. Ooh, that was a good hit from them. That was a good one. All right, where's our bolt? I probably can't even like bolt them into turn, right? One, two. Three. I guess I could bolt them. Yeah, I'm gonna bolt them. Yeah, that's just so loose. It's like not how we're gonna actually win the game. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right, that was a good draw. Those aren't. Oh, turn off all yields. Oh, shoot. All right, well, now I'm going to bolt them because, they, like, snap, maybe snap bolt's going to be, like, my, my way out here. Team good matchups. When does this work when they have 25 or less? 20, okay. <laughs> All right. Dollaway you. Huh. Man, we are gonna we're getting in there with the Snapcaster beads. Just kidding, we're seeing visioning. Yes. I can dismember a crab. Yo, don't kill my red source. Actually, turn off auto yields. Okay. So I'm going to snap bolt them. Oh, do they just stone rain us? Yeah, we don't have our island. What a tilt. Am I going to get archive trapped? Yep. So I have 21 cards. We're going to lose. Chat, we're going to lose. Um, I don't know if I have a land or not. I haven't gotten that far yet. I, they, they can just cast this card now, but it's like, that that's life. I like Tech Edge Podcast a lot. Yeah, we're good. Well, I haven't searched yet. Oh no no no! This they they don't they can just cast this. Okay. All right, let's look. My dad. All right, I yield. I yield opponent. Okay. So we want these. This is a maybe. 
This is a maybe. These are maybes. Cards we don't want. Battle Rage is medium. Fatal Push is also medium. I would like enough ways to kill the little duder, the crab. I don't hate just going like this. Goes away to the side. I could bring in, like, I could bring Brutalities in and, like, cut down on my Snapcaster Mages. But, like, Snap Stub is big game. I think I do too, Brandon. I don't think, I think I'm cutting, like, I think this Battle Rage is nonsense. Um... I think the Snapcaster Mage is nonsense. Three has been bad all night. I mean, I played against Burn. It was good. I, I think that this, if this card, like the reason why I put three in my board was because I was worried about, um, uh, I wanted to see if it was good against Mono Red Phoenix if we got paired against it, and we have not. Oh, Trim and Scours, yeah. <laughs> is that actually worth it? Do we just slow down? Because, like, do we have to go like this? Because we're not angling as hard? Or do we have to cut, like, some Snapcasters here? I literally cut four scours. Then you're shaving on Gurmag anglers, right? Alright, we're going to go like this. It might not be good, but like we're just looking to trade and then we're going to lean on Death Shadow, I think. All right, I mean, this hand trades. I think I'm going to keep this because I can, like, discard spell into Brutality, into Stub, and I can, like, manipulate without looking. Like, I, I can bobble myself here for a little bit of manipulation. Maybe this isn't good. This probably isn't good. That's probably stupid. But I don't know what I'm supposed to mulligan into if I don't have cantrips, you know? All right, so let's take what they do. They kept on bottom. I kind of just want to take this thought seat, this ensnaring bridge, because if they draw their own discard spell, I don't want to have, I don't want to have to fight over this yet. And I can likely stub this, so I'm just going to run this out here. Okay, so kind of what we were worried about happened. So I'm glad we did get rid of the bridge. But the problem is the orb is going to get into play. Maybe the orb is more of a beating than the bridge. So we know what they drew, so we can bobble ourselves here. Because I wanted to bobble for this fetch land without, like, as many cantrips. And I think we can afford to bobble here. Because like these cards don't really do anything. We just wanted to we just want to thread. Like we're okay ditching both of these. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. This gives me two looks at another stubborn denial to hit this orb here. Because this is their hand.
So we know two out of the three cards. Oh, we milled a shadow. What a tilt. Maybe I'm supposed to keep the land to be able to flash looting back. I don't think I played this game very well. Like, I think I probably just shouldn't have worried about the first bridge. Uh, so I can take this Visions, or I can just flash Snapcaster Mage and set, start a clock. Let's take a look here. They're drawing a glimpse. I mean, it's probably super loose to me to, to think this Snapcast Mage is actually going to get me anywhere. Yeah, we're still in the first league. It's been a long league. Yeah, this Snapcaster Mage attacking isn't an actual way I'm going to win this game. All right, well, at least they're playing off the top. Oh, they're not drawing this because they mill? Yeah. Oh, nice. They hit two spells. Gas. All right. Death Shadow or, or I'll, t I'll take a land. Okay. All right, we can get worked here, but like by the archive trap, but we, we've just got to flash back our looting. Yeah, we're playing against Blue Black Mill. All right, we got trapped. So that's our opponent's last card. One, two, geez. What do we have left? We've got one, two, we have one shadow and three Gurmag Anglers. We have Snap Serum Visions in our graveyard. Am I going to need a Battle Rage to win this game? I think I go like this. Because I need to be able to kill the, the creature if they play it. Yeah. I have to be able to I think I have to be able to dismember the Hedron Crab. Alright, that's their hit for the turn. Which is a good one. They're going to be able to cast that, too, here pretty soon. I like if there's a Death Shadow on top of my deck. Uh, well, I guess the fourth card down on my deck. All right, that would be nice. Okay. There's Gurdad. We have Snap Stub now. Okay, so they play their land. Oh, we're in trouble. Now we hope we don't die. I know that card underneath there is not good. Oh, I didn't even think about that, Brandon. So you're right. Like it's an obvious thing. So they play this.
extra pay. What are they charging? Okay, they're targeting my Death Shadow. I mean, that's the best thing that could have been under there for the home team, honestly. <laughs> like, that gives us a chance. We just have to, like, not tap our... I guess... So my opponent's actually dead next turn because, especially if they miss here, because I can go bolt, untap, battle rage them. Okay, got him. Big win for the home team. God, I love me a lightning bolt. Look at this silly me for cutting battle rage. Wow, opponent just scooped it up. They know I they, they knew I had it from the extra pay. Okay. So I think I just want, I think I need this Gurmag Angler, as bad as it is. Like, I think I just need threats. I kind of want to leave the Brutalities in to be able to just pitch my cards to enable Delving. I'm going to cut a Snapcasting Rage. Do I want, do I want more removal in the draw? Probably. So I don't, I really don't want to get browned by a turn one, um, Duder. We're gonna go like this. So we have five removal spells that on turn one kill the crab. I just wanted the brutality there, Brandon, purely because without Thought Scour, it's it's it can just backdoor enable delve, which is huge, I think. All right, that thing's just snap dead. We're going to try not to fetch if we can enable it. Okay. Do we low key have quite a bit of burn? I want to I wanna know if it's good against the Mono Red Phoenix deck. That's something that I'm also excited. Because I think that's the better Phoenix deck. I think that's a harder matchup for us as well. So this kind of sucks because this means I'm losing my command, which means I'm much more vulnerable to a, uh, to a whatever it is. That was a nice draw. That was a nice draw stat. I'm like into it now. I wanna also didn't play a land. So I have to take this murderous cut. And then I think I'm just going to start bolting my opponent to enable this angler. I could have fetched and then it would have enabled angler. But I'm not sure I want to play that game. Okay, well this is going to do it. This is gas. That's actually such a good draw for us. Oh, no way. They know I have an angler, too. Oh, they can't cast it. Gas. All right, so we kill this. Oh, this is like the nut. Yeah, 
Yeah, very lucky. So we cast this. Delve our creatures. What am I more likely to snap cast your bag? I think I want access to this Colagons command if everything goes bad. Yeah, Surgical would have like basically killed me. Vision Beyond, okay. I'm not going to bolt them yet because I think probably like getting up, like going for that was a pipe dream, leaving this command. Oh, we're marching up there, baby. I should have held that in my hand for alluding to. What a tilt. I'm all excited that I'm going to win a game that I shouldn't, and I'm just like playing like a dipshit. All right, the crab's dead. I want to dismember it because I want to keep as much reach as possible in case we get, um, in case we get bridged. Okay, so now the game's over. I also just only have to attack once to, uh, to make it so I just have lethal burn. And I think I'm going to burn them out over two turns. Unless they like tap out for something. And then I can just say, okay, I'm going to go get red source. Go red source, red source, kill you. All right, so I might as well just go bang, bang, get a card out of their hand, and shoot them to make it so it's still a two-turn clock. I could return Wraith, but that doesn't seem that good. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it on a, on a two-turn clock. And get a card out of their hand. And they can have my bolt. Now I can fetch for fun. LOL. Discard the archive trap. Okay. They discard glimpse too, so they have they have extra pay X. So now we have to remember not to thought seize. I guess we're dead to another Colgons command, another dead to another brutality, which would be a sad way to go. Oh god, if we die to a brutality, I'm gonna hurl. Alright, the crab. Alright, that makes me feel better. Got a bridge. Oh, I've got that covered. All right. Last match of the league. Let me go here and say, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. Uh, it's been a tough stream, a lot going on, a lot of good content. My name is Dylan Hubby. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, head over to my YouTube channel. That's the best way you can support me. Hit the subscribe button. I'm still working on my page there. I haven't got it quite leaned up. Um, but you should check that out. I write weekly at MTG Corner. I just wrote a piece. It's going to go up later this week. 
So you should check that out. If you're looking for singles, you should look at Gamer Craze. Gamer Craze is a store in upstate New York where I learned to play Magic. So they they foster college environments. They have really competitive pricing, so you should check them out. If you just want to interact with me, talk Magic, check me out on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go grab a glass of water, and then I will be back. It appears I have some YouTube uh, comments to deal with with respect to the ghosting. Man, that's discouraging. All right, let's say we got back into it, though. Okay, so here we are. We're playing for the 3-2, the which will be nice. After kind of a tough league, this hand's pretty solid. We're playing as a combo deck. This hand's pretty nutty. We need to scry. We'll keep, like, a Thoughtseize or a Street Wraith. Or a Gurmag Angler. All right, we can, we'll keep Gurmag. So that means we get to uh, get a play no matter what next turn. Oh, we got ourselves some hot mirror action. I'm going to stub that just because in the mirror, it can be tough to turn on your stubborn denials. Though I would have Stubborn Denial up with Gurmag. This is a pun. This is a super pun for me. Because I would have Gurmag plus Stub up next turn. Yeah, I punted right here. This is bad chat. Should let that go. Thought Scour myself. Untap Gurmag Stubborn Denial up. And with two of them, they can't even like... Yeah, this is bad. Super bad. See, now I leave my Gurmag Angler to get potentially dismembered. Which, I'm going to run it out there because I have another Snapcaster made. Or I have another Death Shadow. But, it's, it's good. This could end up poor for me. Because I should have just let that resolve. I knew it right after I did it, too. Uh, I'm going to leave the Thought Scour in my graveyard because we're not going to need more Stubborn Denials. Yep, see you later. All right, so my opponent is, looks like they're gonna play a Death Shadow of their own. Yeah, I think Humans is one of the better decks in the format right now. The Humans problem is that it's got a tough matchup against Phoenix. So we're not going to trade here because we have two Stubborn Denials. And it like the Gurmag Angler is solidly turning on our hand. So like we need the threats. The best draw will be a Dismember. That's not bad, but we're going to pass. So our opponent plays a bunch of shadows here. We're in a little bit of trouble. I'm just going to take this. This 
So the second one. Okay. That's a nice draw because it means that we can hold up stubborn denial. This game's gonna get weird. It's kind of like whoever blinks first wins. My opponent has a dismember. We could be in a lot of trouble. All right, that land is good for them. <clears throat> so we kind of have to counter this. I kind of have to dodge this to stub this here. It's probably going to get stubbed back. All right. There's a chance it was actually right to play one shadow there to have two stubborn denials up. But it's not out of the realm of possibility that they can make it so that, well. All right, they get basic planes. Snapcaster Mage, okay. We're likely dead here because of Dismember. Dismember means I have to chump both shadows. Yeah, so we're just dead. Because, because we can't we can't draw both lightning bolt and uh, red land next turn. So the opponent's got it. So we want to cut all of our red cards. We might end up leaving in one red card. So I don't really like looting if people are playing Liliana. I think I want to keep in all four stubs. Because if their plans are Liliana and they're tapping out on their main phase, then I want to be able to counterspell it. And I just don't think that looting is good in these mirrors when it's all about cards. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. There's a chance that like the unique effect of looting is better than the fourth stub, but uh, we're going to want to draw. All right, so it's pretty solid. A little clunky. Like, we could get beat up here. But we're going to keep this hand. We definitely could get run over with this hand. Like, we're, we're in trouble to, like, quick shadows. I don't think we want to cycle this even if they thought sees us. That's why Dismember is so good in the mirror, because it's just like a combat trick on top of everything else. They put they went one and one. Okay. Alright, nice draw, nice draw. So let's go get a watery grave. We're looking for a stub or a discard spell. Alright, these are neither of those. I'm gonna put this on top because it's a third land for Colorgon's command, and it's gonna pump up um And it's going to, uh, like, just make my shadows larger. 
Their hand's a little clunky, so we don't mind having another spell. And we want, like, if we have this many Colagons commands, we need to cast them in order to win. So my opponent could be Angler in here. Alright, they're going to play a Shadow. Alright, well, we will match them. I am going to fetch before Ice Street Wraith. We had another land. Monkey see, monkey do. Excuse my opponent the opportunity to like Colagons command one of these, which is going to make me hurl. Okay. All right, not blocking. What happens if they dismember one? We don't block and they dismember. These become five. We take ten. We die to dismember plus cycle street race. But if they just dismember, we take eight and we kill them on the crackback. So I don't think we block. They haven't played a land. So if they dismember this, they go to eight. These become eight. We died a dismember street wraith. They've already cycled a street wraith. I'm just not gonna block. Okay. All right, well, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to take command one of these. Though that might be worse than just casting Gurmag Angler and holding up Stubborn Denial. Because they missed the land drops. We know they have spells. I think they would have cycled their Street Wraith. What I can do is I can attack man. Can I deal myself what does this have to be to kill them? Can I deal myself nine points of damage? If I go fetch shock four Fetch Shock puts me to seven. Shoot myself a Colagon's Command. Return Street Wraith. Takes me a three. And that only deals them ten and then I die on the crackback. It is so juicy to just go K Command, Shock this, make you discard that I think I'm going to go for it. And then I think we just pass because we're not attacking here because then we're dead on the crack back. Then next turn, both my shadows are lethal with Stubborn Denial back up. It's been an intense league.
Okay, so fetch shock. Yeah, I think I just go do the K command again. Because I can put them to one, but I can't quite kill them, so let's just keep hitting them with the... This is a little loose to dismember. Okay, and now they have to block. And we just don't we just don't move. All right. And our opponent just missed the second land drop, which which they had a very explosive start just like we did. They just like couldn't turn their shadows on. And you know, it 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 just it'd be like that sometimes. They hit their fetch. All right. I think on the draw, we keep it the same. Or I guess we're going to be on the play. Excuse my language. I think this is going to be the last match of the night. I'm a little tired. These leagues are a little stressful. Feeling a little under the weather. We've been going for two and a half hours. We'll get these going. I have YouTube comments to moderate out of people not liking my opinion on ghosters. Wow, oh, they took a play. Okay. Um, I will keep. My opponent missed the memo. And they have basic swamp. You've got it, sir. should always draw in the shadow mirror, or if you're playing shadow against a discard deck, you should draw. Play this. We're going to pass, and we're going to end up bobbling ourselves. I wonder what they kept. They, they led on basic. They must have, like, a delve hard hand. You got it, sir. And again, we're just trading here, but because I'm on the draw, I'm going to be up one more card. Okay, let's take a look at ourselves. You don't want that. The third land will be nice eventually, but we will draw our third land. Because if we draw our fourth land, we'll all of a sudden we're in trouble. You either want to draw three lands or five lands to hard cast Tree Wraith. All right, that's a good one. Make sure to play our land first. So that's, there's that third land that I was talking about that we're going to want. So we're going to look to take a Liliana here. We're going to let a cantrip go.
Take Gurmag Angler. And we shall pass. I think it's almost entirely wrong for them to lead on the land they did. We could have left the Gurmag Angler there and taken the Fatal Push, but we just want... Um, we just don't, we need to deal with threats. Because that's how this game is won. It's won with threats. Okay. Now I feel stupid for not having my third land. But such is life. Okay. Just gonna dismember the shadow. Okay. Just gonna pay for this. They have a way to turn this on more than they've got me, I guess. You're only at three. Just tapping me out, I guess. I mean, we're up another card now. You know, bolt yourself. All right, draw a land. I'd like to be able to thought my opponent. Feel pretty stupid for not keeping that third land now. All right. Come on, CM Visions. Don't. Don't fail me now. They must have thought that their shadow was big enough to stub. Come on, opponent. All right. So we're going to put on top, and we're going to put on top, and we're going to cycle into our angler and play our angler. We know they have a push and then something else. Our opponent plays a shadow, we'll just... Okay, so they've dismembered, so the last card's push. So then this K command should, like, should do it for us. Let's see, this is loose, but they might get away with it. And again, I think... I don't think I can snap Thoughtseize anymore. I'm going to wait and I'm going to... I'm going to go get a Blood Crypt and I'm going to K Command, Shock them, Return my Shadow. Or Return, make them discard. I've, I've, I've handicapped myself a little bit with my life total here. Like, I'm a little too low for comfort. 
They discarded a thought seed. So their last card is a fatal push and then whatever they just drew. They just drew a street wraith, so now they have their draw step. All right, Inquisition's a good one. So now they've got they have fatal push as their last card. They're obviously gonna take Death Shadow. Yeah, we have a good matchup finally. This has been some tough, some intense magic. God, that's the nut. Um, what do we want to keep? We probably want to keep Thoughtseize. Our last card's pushed. They're dead. They're just, they don't have an out because we have Counterspell. So if they, they draw the answer, we have Counterspell for it. Yep. All right, so it was nice to get there after kind of a tough start to the thing. Um, I don't like this list. I think the fact, something that I really like that didn't come up in the entire league and I think it was nice, we didn't draw Steam Vents. And like, that sounds, oh, I need to change my sideboarding here because this is how I've side, this is as if I've sideboarded for the, uh, for Burn. So let me put my deck back together. We didn't draw Steam Vents, which was nice. I think that's something that like shouldn't be looked past upon. Is that we just didn't we didn't draw steam vents, you know, and like drawing steam vents is bad, and that didn't happen, and we didn't really have any hiccups. We drew basic island a couple times, which sucked, but um, I think that if I wanted to change anything, it would be I would like to cut this brutality. For a fourth push, I think. Add another hard removal spell. I think that's what I would like to change. If anything. But that's going to be it for me tonight. I'm going to send you guys over to my friend Drake Sasser. So guys, check him out. Um, again, if you like on the way out, follow on the way out. I hope everyone has a great rest of their night. And I will see all of you guys probably on Saturday or Sunday. So see you all later. And until uh, next time.